What it do, baby? We got three more band cartoon episodes. The first retro band cartoon grade. we're going to be covering is from an anime I'm sure a couple Shout of you out there are familiar grade. with. Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, that, that one. Let's do it. Which one? Now, it's no the secret that I've been a Pokemon fan you, for uh, a with, long uh, the, time. The when I was a kid, uh, I was Jesse. obsessed with the oh, games and made sure to never no, miss an episode the of the anime. James, 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 However, James, James, James. I didn't know until yeah. years later that some of the episodes never saw the light of day in America. Some. One of the most prominent episodes was The Legend of Dratini. The episode what? begins with Ash, Brock, and Misty on their way to the Safari Zone, an enclosed Pokemon habitat where they can find and catch various rare Pokemon. Upon approaching the zone, they're confronted by the owner of the Safari Zone, Kaiser, who makes a bold entrance. No, I haven't seen this one. It's not the Whoa! Whoa! Hey, yo! Kaiser gives the gang safari balls and a fishing rod and explains the rules of the safari zone. Oh, huh? Animals are our Pokemon. No, they are. They just don't have powers. Then they're not Pokemon. That, I don't know what I'm saying, but that. Yeah. No! My I'm just saying. No! Don't say no! You said no! But that, but it's the no, no, concept! No, 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 it's the no. concept! You said no! I said I you said we're stupid. Animals are a no, Pokemon. No, no they're not, because no. they don't have powers. Obviously, they don't have powers, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's why I didn't want yeah. Misty notices a picture on the wall with That's a younger be Kaiser wild. beside the rare Pokemon, Dratini. Kaiser is quick to tell them that there aren't any Dratini in the Safari Zone. But after a call with Professor Oak, they learned that Kaiser was in fact the person who discovered Dratini, and that it okay. led to mass amounts of trainers ransacking the Safari Zone in search of the dragon mm. themselves. With this knowledge in hand, the three set out to begin their Safari Zone adventure, but are quickly so confronted by Team Rocket, who overheard the story of Dratini. How did they I started blasting. <laughs> this is wild. I ain't never even seen a gun in Pokemon. Damn! They're quickly dealt with and decide to challenge Ash and friends to a competition to see who can catch the most Pokemon. If Ash wins, they'll leave him alone forever. If they win, they get all of the Pokemon Ash catches, including what Pikachu. The? Ash confidently agrees. Why don't he just that, shoot? Yeah, I just, just shoot. Just, boom, boom, just bow, shoot. bow. It's over with. Then I started blasting just like yeah. the music. And the contest is on. Ash quickly catches a Tauros and attempts to catch a Rhyhorn. Hey, now that I think about it, do you keep the Pokemon you catch in Safari? I don't remember if you do. Oh, and they accidentally reel in a Gyarados. Mm. While Ash okay. and friends are catching Pokemon, Team Rocket kidnaps Kaiser oh, and interrogates wow. him to find the location of Dratini so they can capture it for themselves. Unfortunately for them, Kaiser won't talk, so they resort to more and more methods of torture until he finally breaks. Kaiser rushes to find the gang and inform them that Team Rocket is heading to the Valley of the Dragons, the location where he met Dratini all of those years ago. They about to get dealt with. Oh, damn. They rush to the valley to find Team Rocket preparing to drop a stun bomb in the lake to snuff out Dratini. They drop bomb? the bomb in the lake, and Kaiser and Ash quickly jump in to retrieve it before it can explode. Ash reaches the bomb, but runs out of breath before say. he can reach the surface, falling back into the abyss. <laughs> Luckily, he's saved oh. by a mysterious figure. Dratini. Yeah, But did he evolve? It's none other than Dragonair, the yep. evolved form it of Dratini. Evolved. Ash gives Team Rocket their bomb back, and they go blasting off Dang. again. Then Kaiser notices that the Dragonair has a cracked horn, just like the Dratini that he met so many years ago. You ain't spent no time with him. Ain't no Don't way. cry. I'm not oh, crying, yeah. you're crying. Yeah. With their Safari Zone adventure complete, Ash and friends reach out to Professor Oak once more to send him all of the 30 Pokemon they caught along the way. Oh, damn. Just like that? The gang then departs for their next journey under the watchful eye of Dragonair and Dratini. And that's it. So yeah, I really like this episode. Well, it was, was really band, good though. and had some serious heartfelt moments it to had it. To be the it also filled in plot holes that future episodes had, like where in the world did Ash catch his stampede of Tauros from? But onto the reason you're here. Why was this episode banned? Did you figure it out? He the reason that this that episode was banned was 
Yeah, it's all the guns. Yeah, I'm sure you noticed, but the entire episode is filled with Kaiser and even Team Rocket threatening and pointing guns at each other. At the That's domicile. a pretty touchy subject in the That's West wild. and was deemed inappropriate for a kid's show. There was also concern about Meowth's mustache strongly resembling oh. a certain dictator. But I personally think they were just going for the detective look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Did you get that one right? Well, yeah, congratulations. That was the easy one. What's next? You did it. That was no, easy one. That room Let's gas. break up the difficulty. That, that gas. room gas. That easy was one. Gas. That room gas. Oh, oh my God. Did it. That's the setup. Okay, Retro. Let's crank up the difficulty a little and move right into our next band episode. The next band cartoon episode we'll be discussing is from Dexter's Lab. Another one? Again. Well, sort of. The band episode isn't so much Dexter's Lab as it is one of the shorts that would routinely oh, air in between okay. Dexter's two stories. Yeah, the short yeah, yeah, series yeah, yeah. was called Dial Mon- M for Monkey and monkey. featured Dexter's pet monkey, who unbeknownst to him, monkey. had superpowers mm-hmm. and would routinely help sp- it, him and that, him and her. Finest. She was fine as hell. Him and her did the Special nasty. agents saved the world. Huh? Him and her did the nasty. You guessing that's what it is, or you like, or? nigga? I just remember one episode where, like, I remember, like, later in life, I heard moaning, and like, I was like, oh, they were moaning. And then later on, I was like, oh, that monkey was monkey. Oh, okay. The band episode of Dial M for Monkey was called Barbecuer. The episode begins with Monkey receiving a telepathic call from Agent Honeydew. Agent Honeydew. He flies over to confront hey. the danger, only to find out that he's been summoned for his own birthday barbecue. Oh, okay, okay Joined okay, by the okay, other okay. agents, superheroes, and even the Justice Friends, which are another Dexter's Lab yeah, show, I forgot about they begin them. enjoying Monkey's birthday party. Hey, what are you looking at? Thought we wouldn't notice, Glizzy. but we did. Everyone is having a great time, and the infragable Krunk is getting sloshed. Krunk said oh, Monkey he getting drunk. Dragon Greatest. Bragging great. Yeah, and it, okay. the party is crashed by a silvery stranger who steals all of their condiments. That silvery swindler has come and deal our condiments. Yeah. Him take ketchup and mustard too. Monkey takes off after him, but is stopped because I mean It's your birthday, Monkey. Relax, have a drink. Instead, the special forces are deployed. They confront the silvery figure to discover he's the silver spooner. Harold of <laughs> and <laughs> Valley too. Barbecuer! Of world. Wow, the yep. forces converge on the barbecuer, but their attacks are useless. Look at that lot. It's hilarious how they be ripping stuff off. <laughs> the Major Glory is yeah. Captain America. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I feel strangely drawn towards it. Was it the death? Oh. Meanwhile on Earth, the birthday festivities continue until the partygoers realize the special forces have been defeated. Now, it's time for Monkey to confront the threat. What is he gonna do? It's your birthday. We'll handle this. So the Justice Friends go instead and are disposed of accordingly. Now there's only Monkey, who has to finally take matters into his own paws. It's up to Monkey now. (laughs) He drunk drunk. And it's up to you to drive Kronk home. That's Damn. why That's he was why. drunk. He, was drunk. Sloth- he oh, flies yeah. up to confront the pair, only to be informed he's too late. Even now, my master why is preparing is so... his planetary shish kebab. That. Whoa. An epic fight between Monkey and the Silver Spooner ensues, and after a brilliant diversion, Judy Garland, <laughs> Monkey is able to get around the surfer and gag the barbecuer, saving the solar system. The day is saved, and Monkey returns to Earth, where he's thanked and asked to perform one last favor. Here, oh no, over there. I'm driving him off. Not Kronk House. Uh, maybe this not Drake Street. Yeah, he was out of there. That's gotta be why I was banned. That's gotta be why. I'm thinking either the drinking or the spoon. No, that was fun. So, why did it get banned? Any guesses? There was actually a couple reasons I came up with when I was watching it, but the real answer might surprise you. It's not because the Silver Spooner was implied to be homosexual, or that the infragable Kronk got absolutely slammed. What? The real reason that the episode got banned was due to threats from none other than Marvel, complaining that the Silver Spooner was a direct and inappropriate copyright infringement of their own Silver Surfer. Because it was. But I do feel like the homosexual- It wasn't. I mean, it's not. Because of uh, parody law. 
That's a parody. Oh, it's a parody. Sexual yeah. tendencies of the surfer are what Marvel had the biggest issue with, since the rest of the Justice oh. Friends are pretty much directly ripped off Marvel characters as well. Okay. And it's a shame, because this was one of the funnier episodes of the miniseries that I can remember. But alas, that seems to be the case with most of our entries on these videos. So, okay. how are you doing so far? What's the, Did you get the, the, last the last two right? If so, let me know in the comments, and be sure to like and subscribe while you're down there. It helps the channel- Hey, y'all go subscribe to that, man. Oh, this music go, is Yeah, this music is gas. Go show them some love. Not a Comment with a new now, group. Yes, sir. It's time for the third and final band episode. For the Are final we episode, we're covering one of the most beloved cartoon franchises what is? of all what, time. What, 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 what? No! Who lives in a pineapple? Not Sponge I bet you money. It's the, uh, the heist. Where they the stole heist? the underwear. Okay, okay. Oh, they did? Okay, I remember that one. I know they banned that one. SpongeBob is no stranger to controversy. Over the years, there have been multiple scenes and even a couple episodes that have been banned or pulled nah, years mama. after airing, I mean, I mean, like yeah, Midlife Prestation, yeah. which oh, I that's covered not in a it? short recently. But today's episode is way more recent. The episode what? is called Quarantined Crab. The oh, episode nice. opens with SpongeBob and friends inside the Krusty Krab. Well, here's your Krabby Patty. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting. Then, completely unannounced, the health inspector arrives. The health inspector? But I already bribed him this year! <laughs> the inspector pulls out a device and scans the crew, making a grim discovery. Just as I feared, someone in this restaurant is infected with a highly contagious clam flu. Was it banned because of 2020? Yeah. No way! That, that can either be the swine flu or one of yeah. He immediately quarantines the crusty crab, and the gang reacts just as maturely as people do in the real world. No way! <laughs> they all begin to panic, wondering who's the infected one, and begin to turn on each other. Squidward accidentally hurls Pepper at SpongeBob, causing him to start sneezing which as we all know, is <laughs> definitely the plague. The group decides that the only way to stop everyone else from catching the clam flu is to lock SpongeBob in the Krusty Krab freezer. They got SpongeBob the wrong decides person. to go willingly to protect freezer. his friends and is locked in the freezer. Oh, it Why would like he's really okay. suffering in there. I can't bear to look. Can someone describe it to me? Jesus Christ, Mrs. Puff is Mrs. kind of Puff fucked up. Luckily, unbeknownst to the rest of the group, the freezer is a winter wonderland full of ice what? cream and fun. While SpongeBob is having the time of his life, Patrick notices and decides he wants to get in on that. My eyes are unveiling under the leather. We got him! Got him. We got him. Meanwhile, Squidward, Pearl, Mrs. Puff, and Mr. Krabs sit down to discuss Meanwhile, the possibility that out. more people it's are infected. And sure enough, the signs begin to show themselves. One by one, Mr. Krabs suspects that the others may be infected and subsequently yeah. locks them in the freezer until he's the only one that remains. The rest of the group quickly realizes that no one inside the freezer is actually sick, mm. which means that the one that was actually infected was none other Mr. than Mr. Krabs. Krabs himself. Squidward devises a plan to escape, but SpongeBob is content staying in the freezer. Well, for a little bit at least. You can't cook Krabby Patties if you're locked in the freezer. Got him. All right, let's put this crab on ice. Let's get it. The freezer squad breaks out and confronts Mr. Krabs, who quickly escapes from their wrath, and an elaborate struggle ensues until they're interrupted by someone at the door, the health inspector. He He's there lying. to tell them that he was actually using his sickness scanner upside down. Wow. Nobody was actually sick. Wow. <laughs> oh, what a goof. But upon entering the restaurant, discovered something much worse. What the hell? Gout. Moldy measles. Flash trichinosis. <laughs> Bunny bronchitis. All <laughs> <laughs> <A whole> shebang. <laughs> The health inspector immediately re-quarantines the Krusty Krab and relocates it to somewhere that the public Damn. will have no chance of ever coming into contact with. Oh. Roll credits. So, crazy. this episode was pretty interesting and covered what a topic that gives it me the to weirdest flashbacks. So why was this episode banned? Well, if you were alive during 2020, yep. you might just have an idea. Yeah. If you weren't alive then, YouTube isn't a babysitter. But yes, the episode was banned due to the clam flu similarities to coronavirus yeah. and the themes of being quarantined. Yeah. The episode was originally of slated course. to air in 2020, Damn. and the creators claimed that any and all similarities to COVID were completely unintentional. But they sure did capture the paranoia accurately. The episode was unfortunately banned from airing, but there's good news. 
Due to COVID's decline, Nickelodeon decided that it was oh, finally time for Quarantine Crab to see the okay. light of day and okay. began airing the episode just a couple weeks ago. And yes, I'm fully Man, aware of the flood going? of comments telling me this episode isn't banned anymore. You obviously didn't watch the full video, yeah, and I yeah. implore everyone that did yeah. to call them out for it. But yeah. I'm honestly glad this episode is finally seeing the light of day. It's legitimately funny, and I really enjoyed oh, the paranoia from the different characters. It kind of reminded me of my favorite horror movie. But that aside, I definitely recommend you give Quarantine Crab a watch for yourself. What season are they on? Probably like 15, 20. Jeez Louise! Thank you for subscribing to Internet City. And you better be following us on Twitch! Or I'm gonna eat some- <laughs>